am using my glass shader, but you can use whatever you want to get this effect. First part is about how to make non-interactive caustics, and the second part will be about interactive caustics. Let's get started. Look at this example. It is almost looks like there is another lamp which emits caustics. And that is exactly how I will do it. Add a point light and turn off the specularity to not see the reflections of the light on the glass. And change the size to zero to see sharp shadows. Place it somewhere at the bottom. If you are using this glass two shader, you can see that something is happening. That is because the glass itself is transparent. To make clear what I am doing, let's use the diffuse shader. Add a light path node. This node is much more powerful in cycles, but I just need to separate the object and its shadow, which is possible in EV2. To do so, use the is a shadow output and plug it into a factor of the mix shader. If the first input is transparent, we can see only shadow. When is the second input transparent, the shadow disappears. And that is exactly what we want. Yes, we want invisible shadow. Now let's make a map for the shadow to define which part is transparent. Gleb Alexandrov used this in one of his tutorials. I just want to make some changes. Add a geometry node and a vector math. It is quite complicated what it does, but this effect is similar to the Fresnel node. Now add a color ramp and make some interesting stuff on it. You can make a node group with that and use it separately. I implemented it into glass shader itself, so you can just download it and use it. To change the color of the caustic, just change the color of the point lamp. To make dispersion, make three lights and change their colors to RGB. This is my source light. To make the caustics changing, light must be moving. I add an empty with the damped track constraint and as a target choose the source light. Now just select the caustic light and parent it to the empty with keep transform option. I want to make my source light and my caustic light linked. If you have multiple lights, just use one of them or use an empty. Make a driver in the caustic light power. Make two variables, one using the distance of these two lights, I call it distance, and second use the power of the source light and call it power. First I want to specify the distance in meters on what the caustics appears. Let's say 15 meters, subtract a distance from that. Now the strength is very low. So I multiply it with like tenth of the power of the main light. That looks great, but there is a problem with a negative light whenever we are distant more than 15 meters. So I clipped it with the max function. This Python function always picks the higher number and if our strength is negative, it picks the zero. You can tweak these numbers to your liking. This method has lots of limitations, but if you use it creatively, you can get some cool effects. Sometimes is the object large, so just use more of these. If you use this technique and share some artworks, definitely let me know. I would like to see your creations. Everything can have caustics now. <laughs>